Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, whatever time zone you're in. My name is Larry Ender and welcome back to the Play- Daedric Podcast. Uh, I am once again joined by my co-host, Tom. Hey guys, how's it going? Yes, and today, as you might guess from the title, we'll be talking about the uh, various kinds of uh, materials and armors and whatnot that you can use to make uh, your weapons, your equipment, that sort of thing. It's a bit chaotic because we had to, as you can, uh, we kind of stated, uh, yeah, we were a bit late with finishing everything, so <laughs> let's yeah. uh, let's jump right we into it. We decided to make you a nice presentation yes. uh, with all the armors on display and the weapons and the materials they are made out from. Yes. And of course, we are going to talk a little bit in depth uh, about each of the metals or other various materials that the uh, that you can make weaponry or armor from in the Elder Scrolls games. Yes, all right. So, um, during this whole playthrough, uh, like, okay, so um, we currently only have the Skyrim uh, recording, and the Skyrim recording, what I do in that is uh, I go throughout the entirety of Skyrim looking for all the ores, uh, or like the the mines and such, where you can find the most uh, of that specific ore. So it's also going to serve as a bit of a guide if you're yep. looking for a specific kind of ore. Uh, Skyrim is the only game I've in which you can actually ma- yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah. Uh, mine and smelt ores and yes. make armors from them. In technically in um, Oblivion, there are some geodes uh, that you can get some nuggets yeah. from, but those are just for selling, so that's not exactly... Yeah, you, you have like silver uh, and gold nuggets, uh, and you just, you just it's it's like a, it, it's a box, you just open it, you don't mine it, you don't need the pickaxe, <laughs> you just open it, uh, take some nuggets and sell them, they're really cheap, like 12 gold for a silver nugget. Yeah, no, exactly. So, uh, let's actually jump into the uh, materials that we have here. You can see uh, Corundum. Iron, Malachite, Silver, Moonstone, Orichalcum, Quicksilver, Steel, Dwarven, Ebony, and Gold. These are the standard uh, metal materials. Uh, yeah, there are of course like many more, uh, yes. ranging from Adamantium, the uh, rare industry of silvery metal, uh, that is uh, really like heavy, used to make we- armor weaponry, and also used in alchemy. Al- yeah, uh, that is something, like a lot of the... Um, materials that you see here actually were alchemical ingredients in uh, both Arena and Daggerfall, which is kind of interesting. Um, so yeah, uh, we talked about the ores uh, uh, earlier, you've probably seen them before, but like here's a nice iron ore vein. <laughs> yes. Um, also, like uh, everybody knows, like we have our metals, of course, uh, here on Earth. We have uh, stuff like silver, brass, bronze, and other metals that we did not show here. Mm-hmm. Uh, we didn't mention them because uh, they are not primarily used in the in the games. Uh, for example, brass is uh, you would say a replacement for the for the Dwemer uh, iron yeah, yeah. or the uh, Dwemer steel. Uh, used by the uh, tribunal god Sophocle, and um, oh, well, and uh, all the <laughs> things that you can find in the dwarven runes. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Sometimes they're made from dwemerite. St- sometimes they're made from brass. Okay, I'm also and... uh, gonna quickly name uh, the mines once I arrive at them. So right uh, in my playthrough. So I'm sorry to interrupt you there. Uh, this is the. No Halted stream camp. How to get there? Well, you can just watch my playthrough. <laughs> I'll just name them. <laughs> okay, moving on. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Also, we did not include uh, the newly added uh, metals uh, introduced in Elder Scrolls Online. Oh God! Yeah. Uh, because the crafting system uh, there is much more uh, diverse, and there's stuff like adamantite, antimony, argentum. <laughs> like uh, cassarite, chromium, cobalt, exactly. uh, dibelium, dibelium, and, it's yeah. like from dibella. Yeah, it's also... Like electrum, galite, like iridium, lead is actually like a uh, normal one, but like mangan, mercury, <laughs> fucking, what, what's it called, pewter, platinum. 
Yeah, like, no, dude, they, they, they really yeah, went no. absolutely bonkers with that. Especially yeah. uh, with also the fact that every armor that you can make is also, you can make it in several style, in every race's style. Which is... Yeah, every race has a style, and uh, you can like alter some of its uh, potential with like adding. I see here like titanium, void stone, zinc, and zircon. Like, what the fuck? <laughs> yeah, no, exactly. So, um, it's the whole uh, periodic table. Yeah, I mean, I like, I, I do actually like the fact that you can uh, have all these different styles uh, because. Uh, I mean that gives you a more unique feel. Although hey, you can actually you can actually uh, use like a Khajiit armor set on a Nord, for instance. So I do kind of wish that they have something like that in the uh, newer um, games. <laughs> yeah, I think uh, Elder yeah, Scrolls Online, yeah. their Khajiit. Uh, do they have the uh, backwards legs? No. Well, no, some of them do. Mean. I think. I think like no, in, in the Khajiit themselves actually you see all versions of Khajiit in the game. I think. Yeah, but like the player um, character. A lot. Yeah, the player character is the uh, no, that's the humanoid feet. That's the human humanoid yeah. feet. Yeah. So like there would be no uh, reason for them to have a unique like apart from the tail hole. Yeah, yeah, exactly, and uh, the ears. <laughs> the cute. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right. So uh, shall we start jumping into the uh, the different kinds of armor? And then we can uh, just talk about the materials as they pop up. Yeah, no, uh, absolutely. So okay. first up, iron. Yes. Look at the beautiful iron. <laughs> it's, it's 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 majestic. Yes, uh, uh, the order is a bit. Uh, yeah, okay. The top right is the iron armor that you'll find in Morrowind, which actually looks like a realistic armor, except for the pauldrons being a bit broad. Well, they do have armors like that in history, but anyway. Uh, then you have the Oblivion armor in the center, and on the left we have the Skyrim armor. It's funny how like yeah. it it becomes more and more uh, like less clothing, even though we're going to colder regions. <laughs> We're yeah, you're actually right. We're starting uh, like, near a volcano, then we're going to Cyrodiil, which is like nice temperate temperature, and then you go to Skyrim, which is cold as hell. Well, it has fur, but still. <laughs> That's true. Uh, uh, you can see the progression through the ages, like uh, from being somewhat crude made, like bulbous, bulbous style, uh, to more like pinned out and uh, sharp edged the, uh, in the fourth era Skyrim version. Yes, yes. Yeah, well, that's mainly because the games <laughs> get better quality, so they can make more accurate. Yeah. <laughs> but maybe it's because of lore. <laughs> yeah, yeah, of course. Yeah, let's <laughs> blame it on that. Sure. And then yeah. in the bottom right, you can see a nice iron ingot, which is used to forge uh, said armor in Skyrim. Yeah, yes. and as we said, uh, Skyrim is the game in which you can mine all of the uh, ingots. Oh, not, not all of the ores and mm, actually smith these armors yourself. Yes, yes. And uh, yep. iron is the, of course, uh, the most common one. Oh, yeah. And in, in the game of Skyrim, there is a whopping number of iron veins. It's yeah. 668 iron veins. So that's a uh, and uh, from each vein you can get three ores and to make three or f three or four there's yeah. like a chance that yeah. uh, on some of the uh, picks you get like an extra, and, but yeah like and, three on average. Yes, and so let's say three and uh, you need one to make an ingot I think, or is that oh no mm. you, need, you, need, you need two to make an ingot you need one to make steel yeah but that yeah okay mm -hmm, so mm -hmm. two the ingots so that's. You know, 690 times 3 divided by 2. That's 2,000. Yeah, so that's, uh, <laughs> that's a lot. <laughs> that's 2,000. That's 2,000 iron daggers that can get you to smithing 100. <laughs> exactly. All right, let's move Very on. Very easily. Yeah. <laughs> of course, uh, when we talk about iron, uh, everybody knows what iron is. Uh, and with iron... Uh, Everybody thinks of steel because how do you make steel? You add carbon to yes. uh, to your in real life, yes. <laughs> iron when you make it. And uh, the thing is that this doesn't this doesn't happen in the Elder Scrolls. They mm -hmm. add a special metal called corundum. Mm -hmm. uh, yeah, yes. corundum is an uh, when you use with uh, as an alloy with iron, it creates a grade of steel and 
Only the, actually only you nerds use it use this. Okay, technique. so just a, a side note, uh, corundum is a real life thing. Really? Yes, it is a crystalline form of aluminium oxide. So it's it's technically more of a crystal in real life. <laughs> yeah, it's a crystal. But yeah, moving yeah. on. <laughs> it, here it seems to focus more, uh, be more like copper and maybe. Yeah, copper, uh, yeah, this is still a fantasy world, so yeah. in here it's it's it's. It's a metal. Yes, it's a metal. <laughs> and with it, like uh, corundum ore and uh, iron ore, yeah, you make steel ingots that you can see in the top right. And it's on the bottom left, you can see the steel armor in um, uh, a Morrowind. In the center, we have the nice uh, steel armor of Oblivion, and and the other two are top left is the standard steel armor of Skyrim, and the bottom right is steel plate armor, which is technically a different forging method, but. <laughs> of course. That's not and, going to do. Uh, sometimes, uh, every, when a fancy uh, piece of sky falls down, you get call, uh, something call, uh, called the meteoric iron, uh, which is actually a fragment of uh, Aetherius uh, that of, uh, that were used by the aliens uh, in their aliens alien wells that dispersed magic and concentrated it. And sometimes also used in weaponry. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Yeah, uh, actually, when I look at these armors, like the, mm, I, the, the it's a funny thing is this, the Oblivion one is the most realistic one. The yep. uh, the like the the helmet of the Morrowind one is pretty good, but then the rest is just like ah, it's a bit. It's it's bulbous. It's it, really like yeah, like the pauldrons are too. They don't fit the rest of the style. The the knee uh, guards they're stick out too much they would actually cause trouble <laughs> but then like if oh, you look at the steel yeah, right. steel plate except for the wings on the helmet it's quite realistic as well and then the random cloth on the crotch <laughs> it's very cold <laughs> very cold in the north <laughs> uh yeah so that's i'm also yeah because i'm uh uh I, I look at the historical uh weapons and arms as well so that's why <laughs> judging them as well <laughs> Moving on, we have, ah yes, the Imperial uh, Armors, and the reason we put these aside is because uh, they appear in every game, but they appear in their own style in every game. So in the center top, yes. we have the Morrowind styles, which is like six, seven styles of Imperial Armor. Yeah, like six, six or seven. But it, it's very varied because yeah. Morrowind had a lot of variety, especially when it mm. came to armors. True, and true. and and weapons. Yes. So uh, they they had the form like in, in Skyrim, for example, there is also a lot of uh, types of imperial armor, but yeah. it's more like unique pieces. Yeah, for yeah, example, yeah. on the bottom left, you can see the heavy uh, imperial armor made from steel, and uh, the helmet uh, the uh, guard horn, uh, owns is actually. A very rare helmet that's find, found on like two places. Yeah, something like that. It's very uh, hard to find. Yeah, two places throughout Skyrim. There's like two versions. It wasn't supposed to be implemented. It's it's like a, a special uh, gift for those who are willing to actually look for it. I think actually what happened was that uh, originally there was going to be more division in the different ranks of uh, in the, the yeah. legion. Mm -hmm. uh, because they wanted wanted to make the civil war uh, storyline way more uh, complex and way longer, but uh, and that came with you know different levels of armor as well. But unfortunately, they were uh, suddenly the producers were like, "Quick, finish the game!" <laughs> so yeah, unfortunately, we didn't get. Yeah, that. and uh, bottom center, you can see our uh, uh, Lord and Savior. Okay. <laughs> with his yeah. uh, very very unique, very pretty general... imperial leather armor. Sorry, you cut out for a second. It's General Talius. <laughs> yeah, so it's General Talius, our lord and savior, with special unique armor. <laughs> and meanwhile, yeah. I'm... We, o we also did not include, uh, include the uh, Imperius Oculatus... Oculatus, what What was that? The Imperius Oculatus, Oculatus yes. Uh, because they're just a darker version of the imperial armor on the top left. Yep. Um, quickly, uh, like the top right is the uh, imperial armor that we find in the imperial city, so it's like the highest quality. 
uh, you can find. And then bottom right uh, is like the, the city watch, if you want to be very specific, uh, of the Imperial City itself. The other one's just everywhere in Cyrodiil. But uh, what you might have noticed is that uh, at least the top left, uh, the Morrowind versions and General Tullius and Center, they are very Roman in nature. Uh, top, yes, bottom left like as well. But that's because the Imperials are modeled after the Romans. Uh, yeah, but then... it's um, the the whole empire is modeled yes. after the uh, well, Roman Roma, uh, Great Roman Empire. The, yeah, the, Ro Roman, the empire. Roman Empire. <laughs> yeah. Um, but the thing is, like, okay, so uh, the Roman Empire was back in the, the uh, in the old day, and you see, you can still see the style style in the the armies on the right of Oblivion. Uh, but they actually, uh, I think it's very cool that they. Uh, because plate armor was not available back then, but now, like in this uh, version, it is. So, like you can see that it like evolved basically. So they, it's still yeah. very Roman. But then, what would happen if the Romans had access to plate armor? And that's pretty cool that they were able to show that. Pretty. The well. thing is that uh, I know again with the uh, passage of time thing, armor ev evolving. But you can really see it here, mm -hmm. especially on the higher in commands, like the heavy. Wow, uh, shit. personnel. <laughs> yeah, no, true. Like, the armor is mu mu has the quality of the armor is like spiking to the roof compared to its predecessors. Yeah, it's a bit strange that they <laughs> gave the uh, the Skyrim version like less <laughs> less cloth because they're going up north, and you hear the Imperials constantly complaining about how cold it is. So <laughs> they don't give a Nords don't give a fuck. Resistance to cold, baby. Yeah. <laughs> All the imperial, all the imperial soldiers in the north are all just Nords. <laughs> all right. Yeah. Let's move past. Uh, I mean, they are from for a major. There's also they actually yeah. Are. There is also other ones, Imperials. There's actually like a, a an, an Altmer as well, an Altmer Imperial officer. In the in Rift, in the Rift. Okay, moving on. Moving on to the Elves. Uh, the, we, the Dwemer, yes. Yeah. The. Um, we are talking about a historical accuracy. And now, <laughs> now goodbye historical accuracy. <laughs> and goodbye historical accuracy because this armor is supposed to be uniform throughout the entire game, uh, throughout the entire saga. Yes, they because were. it's yeah. been created and left as such. Yes, and technically as speaking, you can see... <laughs> yeah, uh, technically speaking, uh, lore-wise, uh, no one knows how to make uh, dwarven metal and also doesn't know how to forge. Uh, dwarven armor. They kind of ignore that in the game, but uh, so the only explanation they've given so far is that the top right, which you see in the Morrowind armor, which is hideous, is the Eastern style of uh, Dwemer uh, armor, which you know sort of makes sense. They can have different uh, because the empire was quite big, but then so like if you assume that the top right is the Eastern style and then the uh, the Skyrim one on the left is the Western style, then what the fuck is the <laughs> What That's the actually the not the style. I think the Oblivion, the Imperial version of the um, Dwemer armor, is a recreation. Yeah, it they, could be. They, yeah, I think they just got the ingots and smithed and smithed the armor. Yeah, like I, I no don't... reference at all because like uh, both in Morrowind and Skyrim, you actually can find these uh, armor sets in, in Dwemer ruins. ruins yes. And there's themselves. no Dwemer ruins in Cyrodiil. So. And the, yeah, exactly. There's no Dwemer runes in Cerodil. So they just got the machinery, they smelted it down, maybe j they just got the ingots all together and made armor just, that just looked practical. <laughs> because in Skyrim you can see the clear uh, resemblance uh, of the armor to the uh, Dwemer constructs uh, as seen on the bottom right. There we have a Dwemer sphere. Mm -hmm. uh, especially compared to the uh, Dwemer Centurion, yeah, uh, you can you can ext you can see the resemblance. It's the the helmets are yeah. exactly the same. Also, I've neglected details, my task like... of telling everyone where everything is. Ah, whatever. Actually, no. Wait, this is the second uh, place. The second uh, uh, place of ores in my playthrough. This is actually the uh, Corundum ore in Knife Point Reach, except. As you can see now, you need to be in a separate section, which you can only access during the Boethia quest. 
But once you do, there's 19 veins of Corundum. So that's the most veins of any uh, location at all. So, yeah. Oh, uh, damn. Yeah, it's a lot of them. So, okay, uh, moving back to the uh, Dwemer armor. Yeah. You could even say, like, yeah, the... the because uh, the style you see here, uh, it's called Lamellar, Lamellar style, I think. Uh, that's a real life style, uh, which you can make with strips of uh, metal, and that's basically. Yeah, yeah, yeah and exactly. The thing the, is, like the Oblivion version, you can actually. If, just you, if, you, if you go back to, to this one, uh, you can see that uh, Imperial armor on the bottom left actually makes use of that as well, like strips of metal. So. Yeah, no, it could mm -hmm. definitely, it could definitely be the imperial style, but we have no confirmation of that. Yep. So that was. The... We also guess we'll have to see in the Elder Scrolls Six how the Dwemer armor looks there. Yeah, yeah, let's see what they'll make out of it. Like, if there is a Dwemer armor. Oh, there should be if it's if well, I mean, we sort of have it confirmed that it's, that's going to be in like uh, High Rock or. Uh, uh, I I know it, it's where gonna it's going to be gonna there. Be. I don't know when it's going to be. True, but we do know that uh, that region had Dwemer. They have Dwemer ruins, so uh, we'll see. Yeah, th yeah, that's true. That's true. Uh, they had. That's... Uh, anyway, let's uh, move on to the the, the other uh, other elves, <laughs> other half <laughs> like half elves, uh, the orcs. And boy, oh yeah, boy, yeah, yeah, did yeah. they change that that style repeatedly. <laughs> so. First up, uh, when we got into Morrowind, you can see the clear resemblance. It's just straight up samurai armor. Yeah, no, like they didn't even try to hide that. You can see the layered skirt. You can see the you can see the fucking U shape on the helmet. Yeah, and uh, the fact that they use a, like a scary looking mask as well. Yeah, it's just a straight yeah. up rip off. Then uh, we come to uh, Oblivion with. Again, the stripped stripped armor. Yeah. So and once again, it could be uh, uh, recreation. Yeah, recreation. But uh, like honestly, it could it looks like a Mongolian style armor. Yeah, it's very Mongolian. So we're suddenly go moving more to yeah. the west. Th then... They're they're still get they're still going for the uh, eastern vibes mm -hmm. with the orcs. Yes, yes. And then in Skyrim, they suddenly. Well, let's see. They use, use they use a gambeson below it suddenly, uh, which is yeah. <laughs> which is very European. <laughs> well, technically, other it, countries had it, it as well. Is, but, but look yeah. at the helmet; it's still like samurai looking. Yeah, it's, it has reason. it has influences from that, but it's still like it also could look yeah. like a barbute, which is more <laughs> Italian. So mm, they yeah. they they try to go even more Eastern with that. <laughs> So just... It's it's a few. I mean, it's a fantasy. It it, it it's a fusion of yeah, of the true. of both of these st previous styles. I would say. I think they really screwed themselves over with uh, when in Morrowind they had such a uh, samurai-looking thing. When in Oblivion they suddenly introduced the blades, which are uh, Akaviri, which are samurai. <laughs> yeah, exactly. They're like straight up samurai. So yeah, so it's uh, yeah they kind of like probably regretted that, or maybe they have a nice in lore explanation. Who knows? Eastern style. I've, they like you'll see as we continue. The um, Morrowind has a lot of like Japanese style uh, armors and weapons. So yeah, that's, it's... that's true. That's true. And before we move on to the next uh, thing, there's two things I want to say. First, we have the next mine, which is the Sanura Sanura. Oh, Jesus. Sanuarak mine, uh, which is the number one silver ore source. Not Sitna, Sitna <laughs> mine. It's actually <laughs> Sanuarak mine. Um, and the other thing I wanted to say is that, funnily enough, so orc armor in both uh, all three of these games is like you know somewhere in the middle in quality, but then in Daggerfall it's considered actually the uh, one of the best types of armor. But that's because orcs are also one of the main enemies, so maybe like that. Uh, Anyway, let's move on to the next. Uh, yes, there we go. Ebony armor. Now that has gone, undergone some change. <laughs> yeah. Here's Absolutely. A... Uh, uh, you can see the clear change uh, from the black and yellow aspects uh, that were in the previous games to the all black. Like, again, <laughs> this is like high, uh, high medieval like uh, armor. Yeah, the ebony. It, it 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 looks like straight up plate armor. 
Yep, 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 yep. Well, I mean, the others are also plate armor. What's interesting, though, is... Um, it's a g the game that we don't talk about all that much is uh, Blades, you know, on the mobile phone. They uh, mm -hmm. you they make use of a lot of the models from uh, Skyrim, just a slight update. But then uh -huh. the ebony armor in uh, in Blades is actually like the Skyrim ebony armor, but then gilded with gold like the other ones are. Yeah, you're right. I, I see it right now. It, it's uh, the yeah the edges uh, yeah, yeah, are exactly. gold and uh, like, but it's the it's the model from Skyrim. Yeah, exactly. So I think that that is the the style that they're going to return to eventually, because that is the mm, style yeah. of ebony armor that they want. Uh, I mean, the ebony armor in Elder Scrolls Online is yeah, also that's... like black with golden uh, details. Yeah, exactly. So I think uh, Elder Scrolls Six is gonna return to this. The problem is that, especially in Oblivion, it looks extremely cartoony, in my opinion. <laughs> like yeah. for for the level of production it actually gives yes. uh, it's supposed to be it, it's the second best armor yes in, in in lore as well it's explained as being one of the most sought after materials uh, yeah. that's why when like you ebony, is the, is ebony what... is supposed to be a volcanic glass it's supposed yes. to be uh, like uh, well it, it's supposed to be obsidian Basically. Yes, it's actually it's funny because like in appearance wise it's more uh, like obsidian. Uh, the name ebony comes from a type of wood that we have, but then the properties mm -hmm. are not like obsidian at all, uh, considering that obsidian is very hard and brittle. And this is not brittle. <laughs> Otherwise, it wouldn't serve as an armor very well. But yeah, no, it's it's, it's cool this stuff. Is, this is strange. Like it's 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 a volcanic glass, and we have a history with glass being used as metal in uh, the yeah. uh, in the uh, in the Elder Scrolls uh, the f thing is that raw ebony itself is ha uh, extremely hard to durable black glass like substance yeah. it is said to be crystallized blood of the gods <laughs> jesus so dramatic especially they mean they uh, by this they mean lorcan of course lorcan he's yeah, bleeding it, everywhere because, like, lorcan <laughs> is lorcan is nairn so yeah true yeah. true yeah, it's also it's also funny how um, the the empire, you know, the big empire, uh, mm -hmm. basically treats uh, ebony uh, or vein, or ebony ore as uh, the U.S. treats oil. As in, the moment yep. they find that there is ebony somewhere, they immediately, you know, try to take over. That's, that's true, why that's true. in Raven Rock they uh, took over uh, so strongly. There was a, in Ravenrock. There's a ebony mine that yeah. has been like just like, closed down. No, no, no. Like, it, it's, in Morrowind, uh, during the DLC, there you it starts. It's like it's only recently started. Like, uh, oh. And then uh, by the time of uh, Dragonborn DLC of Skyrim, it has run dry, I think. But then, uh, like the one guy is like, no, no, there's still some more down there, and then. Eventually, during the quest, you find that there is indeed uh, a more a bigger pocket of ebony, even deeper. Yeah, as, as and as we said, like uh, the ore has several. Uh, also, uh, the ore has several alchemical properties, and uh, oh, mine. yeah, and ebony armor is made by repeatedly folding the ore upon itself f uh, to form yeah. strips, which are then molded to the shape. And uh, the thing is that uh, from ebony, you can make another substance, <laughs> which is uh, rumored to be the most uh, prized, the most durable, and the most, uh, well, the best iron or the best metal you can get in the Elder Scrolls. Mm -hmm. uh, by imbuing the uh, ebony object with a magical substance, from a lesser daedra such as a heart uh one can process these into something called daedric daedric armor, armor yes. and armor. so first and thing weapons. i want to say is um we've mentioned this before but the daedra all of them greater or lesser technically they aren't able to create things they're just not able yep. that's not in their nature but they are able to change things and that's why um, with uh, like to create Daedric armor, basically what you need to do is you need to take ebony armor, 
they, they, they just took ebony armor and then changed its shape to create what you see here, uh, the different kinds of uh, uh, Daedric armor. And three very different styles <laughs> throughout the games. The top, again, very different styles, yeah. yeah. The top right is, is well, influenced again by uh, Japan very heavily. Um, and it you just, can see it, the, like, Kabuki, look, Kabuki S looking mask. Yeah, yeah exactly. And they, they really wanted to go for the, let's see, yeah, Lamellar again. <laughs> Yep. It's, 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 like, yeah. From the Morrowind uh, days uh, into Oblivion, they tried to mimic Fear. the <laughs> demonic aspect yes. of uh, Daedra. Like the devil, um, scary ass looking. Yeah. With the, uh, they, they went overboard on the red. Yes. So, yeah, in uh, Oblivion, the main problem with that armor, realistically, is that you have so many loose pieces that all stick out. That, you know, everything would constantly get stuck on itself. And I'm not talking about the enemy weapons. I'm talking about you on yourself. So you get constantly stuck yeah. and poked. Uh, so it's very impractical. Like, the uh, Skyrim armor also has a lot of spikes. Which is also impractical. But it's still better than the one in Oblivion. <laughs> actually, yeah, like the, practically speaking, the uh, Morrowind armor is actually mo <laughs> most efficient. The pauldrons on the shoulders are a bit big. Wait. But... No, hold up. Look at look at the uh, look at the greaves. Yeah, the greaves are a bit have. pointy as well. Yeah, no, that's a problem. Yeah, you're gonna stab yourself so fast. Yeah, but how, what do you think about the like the, the 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 Skyrim one does that as well? It just currently can't see. I know, but the... your body is at least uh, covered entirely, yeah, that's like true. in the model. If you just stand, <laughs> if you just stand still, you're fine. You know. <laughs> yeah. I mean, you if you if you actually donned the Daedric armor from the Skyrim, like if if you had this in the medieval times, people would run. Would they though? I'm not Fuck sure. Yeah, you... I mean, you yeah. might, might think them very su superstitious, but there's also in those days uh, they would see armor more regularly, so they would also be able to recognize impractical armor more easily. Don't you think? And when they see all these spikes and it's like, wow, are you trying to poke yourself? <laughs> I don't know. It's uh, we don't have a time machine to check. Dude, it it they it, it straight up looks like a fucking devil. Ah, uh, oh well. So we move on to the uh, next. It's one of those things I would really like to check. <laughs> like try like get a bit, uh Daedric armor and travel to. Uh, <laughs> yeah, travel to the 14th century Europe. <laughs> Okay, so uh, we've gone through the heavy armors now, and now we're moving on to the light and medium armors. Now, I do want to mention this, uh, that uh, the earlier games still divided the armors into light, medium, and then heavy. And uh, by the time of uh, Oblivion, they're already just doing light and heavy. Uh, and... If, let's see, like, uh, the amount of pieces that you can actually select has also decreased. Uh, something we haven't mentioned before, because in uh, Skyrim, it's just, you know, the torso, including the legs, the boots, the greaves, and the helmet. In Oblivion, you could still separate the greaves. In Morrowind, you also had uh, pauldrons, like the shoulder things. Um, and then... I, I think in Morrowind, you had separate, like, uh, right and left. Yeah, right and left pauldron as well, and then in and, and uh, not even pauldron like uh, um, gauntlets and uh, footwear. Oh, okay. Yeah, okay. Yeah, and, and in Daggerfall and Arena, it was like you know that's the full package of like uh, I have it here: uh, helms, pauldrons, cuirasses, gauntlets, greaves, and boots. Yeah, that's the full set. Yep. All right. I so think the, actually, when I went from Skyrim, because I only ever played Skyrim. And then I started playing Oblivion. The, uh, mm -hmm. Oh, you went to the... <laughs> Greaves. <laughs> yeah, the addition of Greaves, the, just the leg part, not the foot part, but the leg part, it, it fucked me over several times. <laughs> you just went around without pants? Because when... <laughs> yeah, yeah, because I, di I didn't know. I had to uh, put on pants. Like, <laughs> put them separately. That's just funny if you, without context, like, I didn't know I had to put on pants. <laughs> on uh, my feet, like, yeah. something on my chest and something on my head. <laughs> just walk around in your underwear, no problem. 
let's move on to the next material. So, like I said, we went through the heavy materials and uh, the heavy armors, and now we're moving to light armors. And the first one of that yeah, is... Did, did, you, did you mention how you make leather armor? Uh, yeah, well, we can mention that now. You have a nice... Uh... <laughs> yeah, you, you kill animals, strip it down, tend, tend, tend the leather, and go from there. <laughs> yeah, it's, it's not very hard. Uh, so, here we see the leather armors. Uh, technically, the top right, I think, is I don't remember if that's netch leather or not, but it's still leather. Oh, uh, it it can it can be dried netch leather yeah. or just netch leather or smoked netch leather or something like yeah. that. As, uh, yeah, netch leather is like a specific type of leather then, be uh, made of netch. Yep. No shit. Um, but <laughs> uh, the thing is also that uh, for Skyrim, uh, leather is needed in the creation of every piece of armor. Either, even if it's just leather strips, you do need it for everything. Yeah, Le leather strips are used in everything. I, I apart from Daedric. Uh, yeah, no, Daedric doesn't need it, I think, because it's yeah, technically because, just a transformation uh, from ebony to. <laughs> yeah, you need to uh, to make Daedric, which uh, well, let's mention that because it's actually funny, not funny, this is interesting. Uh, you need to access a very special Atronach Forge uh, uh, below yes. the. Below the College of Winterhold, which is the School of Magic in Skyrim, and uh, yeah. down there it's a it's a uh, alchemical forge, in which uh, the, which has a compartment yeah. in which you like put yeah. stuff in, and then you pull a leather lever. Yes, and that's how and you. you... Uh, that's actually the thing is that is how you're that was the uh, that's the lore explanation how how you make Daedric armor. That's why it's so special. But of course, game mechanics wise, they just made it possible for you to make. Uh, <laughs> they just made it possible for you to make all these kind of armors, but the thing is, um, the uh, all the books basically in game do describe uh, Daedric armor as being uh, uh, very hard to make, very secretive, and like you can only make it at a full night and a full moon, you know, very yeah. specific, uh, you know, things. Like that. But let's move back to the leather. Um, I find it interesting that they went from like you know look at how much skin and then like full cover and then back to showing skin. <laughs> the the the, yeah. the Morrowind one and the uh, Skyrim one actually have quite a few similarities. You you're right. Like the thing is that Skyrim is obviously uh, all all the armors and just overall the aesthetic of the game is influenced by the uh, yeah. romanticized versions of of Vikings. Yeah yeah true. Which is the half naked man with a giant axe with a full beard and f uh, and a luscious locks of hair uh, running at you, speed uh, screaming, with mead uh, flying behind him. Yeah, that is definitely and, uh, a romanticized version because in reality they were very different. <laughs> yeah, but That's... the thing is, it's actually like if 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 you look at especially like Ulfric, it's yeah. <laughs> yeah, so so. I do want to say this still. Um, the uh, leather armor historically almost never <laughs> uh, it was never almost never a thing. You see it in like all these kind of fantasy things, but leather is not the best material for armor at all. And it uh, was it, it didn't it was... saw the battlefield because leather armor was it wasn't expect it wasn't called armor. And it, it, it was just a normal attire. Yeah, exactly it was that. Used, like, if you were a courier, you had this because you did when you were, were uh, running through the forest, you didn't want to get scratches all over yourself. Now, actually, uh, the thing is, leather was very expensive in those days. So why would you make an entire suit of armor out of it <laughs> when it's not even practical? It's because you need to kill uh, like a cow for it, and cows were not as abundant as we have them now. So, well, yeah, leather is true. leather is still expensive now. So, can you imagine what it was like back then? Um, yeah. So, yeah, leather armor not a thing. Vikings also they are way. Uh, they have a lot of features that are actually very cool. They did. Did you know that they actually took very good care of their hair? They had very. They were actually very attractive apparently. To the point where uh, I remember uh, once reading that uh, uh, an English, uh, I think like scribe basically was complaining uh, that the uh, the Vikings were looking too good, or like technically he was saying the Danish, but that's basically the Vikings. Uh, they, were they were looking too good, and uh, and they were seducing their women. 
with their good looks. <laughs> yeah, I, yeah. I, I said uh, gorgeous beard and luscious lots yeah. of hair. <laughs> <It's> <laughs> true. All right. Um, yeah, they also just took care of their appearance more, so that's great. Let's move on to the next armor. Uh, yes. Oh wait, 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 wait quick, quick. Uh, I think the, the 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 Oblivion one looks best, but. Uh, none of them are practical. Well, maybe the Skyrim one has like a little more practical thing because that looks like harder than yeah. other. But still, <laughs> none of them are practical. Like I explained. Okay, moving on. So here we have three different armors that only appear. Uh, well, okay, so technically all of these armors appear in Arena and uh, I think Daggerfall as well. But mm -hmm. they don't really. You don't have. We don't have proper pictures from those games. Uh, so the first one is Chainmail. Well, it seems obvious. Made of <laughs> chainmail. Uh, then we have the middle one, which is made of mithril. Uh, yeah, not mithril the one. Is... Not the one you would yeah. find in Tolkien. <laughs> not not the thing not great. Mithril, mithril is a uh, very scarce metal material, mm -hmm. and uh, as as you know it from like uh, uh, Tolkien, it's it's very light. And uh, pretty strong, durable, and stuff like that. But it's not invulnerable as no, in uh, Tolkien's it works. So in, in Tolkien, it's yeah. like way more cool. But here, not so much. Here, it's just light and strong. <laughs> and then yep. on the bottom right, we have adamantinum, which uh, most people will know uh, from Wolverine of X Men. <laughs> but it's actually also uh, in this uh, yeah. first. Not adamantium is uh, here. Yeah, here adamantium is actually stronger than the mithril. Yep. Uh, and it's also as heavier. Like, it, it, same thing, it's like shi shiny silvery metal and it's it's extremely heavy, <laughs> uh, it has some alchemical purposes and it, uh, in, in, um, it, it, you can find it in wild in, in crystals, not ore veins. Yep, indeed. Though I must say, like, it actually looks pretty okay. It's, it's a bit, yeah, bur like a bit balloony <laughs> at the top, but, uh, uh, the the elemental uh, armor looks pretty good, disregarding the yeah. wings, of course. And uh, in the older games, uh, one more thing, uh, there were creatures that were uh, immune to normal weapons, mm -hmm. and you need you you needed to use either silver, uh, adamantium, or above uh, weapons to actually harm them. Daedric and Ebony, I think, also. Yeah, Daedric and Ebony. Uh, yeah, Adamantium, Silver, Daedric and Ebony. There you go. Which basically all, bas basically all of them are magical. <laughs> so. Yes, yes. Alright. It's we'll Blood go. of God, Blood of con uh, God combined with the Blood of Devil. <laughs> and, uh. Yeah. <laughs> Actually, like the 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 both of the myth, both the Mithril and the Chain Armor are very realistic as well. Quite realistic. Oh, like. Like I mean, like, design, like, yeah, yeah, yeah design-wise. Yeah. I mean, the material maybe not not as much. Uh, like, I mean, chainmail was, what, what, was it made from steel or iron? Both. Both. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, they just used any kind of metal to make it. Well, any metal yeah. was moldable enough. Cause you need to make it quite small, but yeah. Uh, and mm -hmm. it's actually a uh, chainmail was actually used for a long time. And it's very good to uh, versus uh, like slashing attacks. Oh wait, no, I uh, ah, whatever. It was good. It was good for the time. <laughs> Better than wearing nothing. Moving on. Ah, yes, the elven armors. Which okay, so Morrowind didn't have uh, specifically something Nade, called elven armor. They did, they did not have elven armor. No, you could argue that the elven armor that we see is mostly uh, either Aeliot uh, uh, or uh, Altmer based. They call it elven, but basically it's the Aeliot and the Altmer that wear it. And mm, yeah, I guess the thing is that uh, elven armor is made from two metals. Yes. Uh, one is called moonstone, which is an ivory colored metal found to all throughout uh, Tamriel. Uh, also, kajit, uh, obviously moon. It's called yeah. moonstone. So uh, kajit uh, like moonstone uh, too, and make uh, attire from it too. But uh, the elves themselves combine it with quicksilver. Mm -hmm. And that's how you and... get it strong. Because moon, Moonstone on its own, if I remember correctly, is too malleable. 
It's too too. It doesn't. Uh, you I, you could make I you could know. basically like gold. It's very you can, you can like press it and it changes its shape. Yeah, combine it with a liquid and it gets better. Yes. Well, Quick quicksilver is not a liquid though. <laughs> It's it's oh, it's, no, it's, yeah, it's mis sorry, misleading because uh... like in real life we have quicksilver as a nickname for mercury which is a liquid, uh, but no this is this is not. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> like yeah, yeah I I uh, I mistook those yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, okay. it's not mercury yes. it's a quicksilver it's just straight up ingot it's like bluish in color. <laughs> if I remember correctly, uh, and it's a low point of melting. This this yeah yeah the the. God, what is it called? Uh, yes, it was uh, the process of how the the elves made the moonstone as strong as they did was actually a very closely guarded secret for a very long time. Uh, only yep. the Eldmar knew it for uh, a long time. But then uh, there was one, I think it was a Dunmer apprentice, or maybe an Eldmar apprentice, who uh, uh, was working for the Eldmar and he was getting so fed up with their arrogance that he just left them and just spread the secret to the rest of Tamriel. <laughs> the big fuck you. And that's how we know how to make <laughs> Elven armor. Uh, also, fun fact, in uh, the second era of 582, a giant piece of uh, Massa or Secunda, uh, those are the two moons, fell onto Tamriel. And the whole piece that fell was a giant... Uh, Moonstone. structure made from moonstone and it was called the holy moonstone and it was uh, circulating around Tamriel as a very uh, prized position I mean it's, it's a big stone it's pretty cool yeah another thing that I can see in the armors of Oblivion and Skyrim is that the Skyrim was definitely a more Altmer style like it has like the more uh, bird features in it like the eagle that's very uh, like they, they really love their eagle uh, patterns in, uh, in uh, among the Altmars, whereas the uh, Oblivion one is probably a lot more what the Aliens used to have. That's probably yeah. also where you find the armor because there's a lot of Aliens runes in the Cyrodiil because that's their was that's the Absolutely. place of their empire. So. And also, Aliens had bird-like feet, and you can. Uh, <laughs> I don't think that's why they have that... the toad feet. <laughs> I like. Uh, they had though. Aliens were supposed to be like avian. They they were supposed to have a avian features. Do they? Let's yes. See. Well, okay, yeah, that's all. Yeah, maybe. Oh, whatever. That's why the uh, it, it looks like an owl. The helm. Yeah. Could be. They were supposed to have avian features, and uh, that's may maybe it's not actually the elven armor in Skyrim. It's not an eagle. Maybe it's actually the. Uh, animal that uh, the aliens well, resembled could be, but because you... we have, you know, it has a lot of feathers and like the uh, as per, uh, the elven great hammer, I think it is. It okay. has the head of. Uh, yeah. what's... But uh, you also of, need to keep in mind eagle. that uh, the 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 Altmer, uh do love their griffins. Oh. Oh yeah, maybe it's griffins. Yeah, right. They really love the griffins and eagles, actually. I think they have giant eagles. I'm not sure, I don't remember. Yeah, elves have something to do with birds that... Yeah. <laughs> That's about it. <laughs> the armor design of Skyrim is pretty good. It's got a bit, bit too many pointy uh, points here and there, like uh, on the legs, like the, the flaps. That's a, there's, there's a bit I too think, pointy. Do you think it's actually metal, though? Yeah, it should be. I think those are like uh, sheets of metal. I mean, it's the same color mm. as the rest because of the metal. It's supposed to be metal, but maybe it's like... Nah, uh, it's hard to see. Huh. But uh, overall, it's yeah. okay. It's an okay design. The helmet's a bit too close-faced, so uh, if you get hit on the cheek, then you immediately get hit <laughs> as well, instead of having yeah, a bit it, of a buffer. A bit... <laughs> yeah, it's not gonna help much with the recoil. <laughs> no, exactly. Uh, the Oblivion one is better in that regard. <laughs> So it has a bit sticking point, th things that are sticking out too much. All right, moving on. Glass armor, yes. Oh God, that's a that's a whole different armor. So it's made of uh, malachite. Let me find a fucking lore page yep, for this malachite. shit. Yep, malachite. Yes, malachite. Come on. 
There we go. Not Malakaf, it's, Malakite. <laughs> yeah, Malakite, yes. It's a semi, uh, it's a rare semi translucent volcanic, uh, green volcanic crystal. So here's another volcanic crystal for you. And um, glass, it is, it is, it's a nickname because you can, uh, in its uh, crystal state, it looks like glass with a slight uh, green hue. But then when you uh, work on it like this, uh, you combine it with. Um, with moonstone i think let me double check uh i don't think so this one i think is just straight up the only thing that uh i might correct you on uh, is that you talk about how the elven armor the secret of making was uh like the the, the dunmer apprentice uh, oh, okay. was it, them. wasn't it the dunmer apprentice uh it was no he didn't betray them on the elven armor it was the last on this glass, glass armor yeah. is the better version of uh, elven armor it's it, it, it it's also like um of Aldmeri origins like some on somerset isles mm -hmm. it was like a uh, highly guarded uh, secret how to how do you, how you actually make uh, how yeah. you actually make I've this done my sleeve, yeah. Yeah, yeah yeah so yeah it's uh, actually apparently it's uh, considered quite similar to ebony as well well we but it's less less durable and more lightweight yeah. I it's... always can't get behind how wh why the Skyrim version is blue. <laughs> it's, it's green blue. <laughs> it's tur turquoise. Turquoise. It, it, it's aqua, dude. Yeah. Well, I mean, so they they did go from from bright green to suddenly like <laughs> less less the green. Although what's yeah. also funny is that in Morrowind you can see that um, it's. It's like a metal armor which is like decorated with like the glass uh, mm -hmm. here and there on a good point. And the same goes for the uh, Skyrim one. But then in Oblivion they just went like, look at all this glass we found. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's true. The thing is that the, the armor may be blue, but the weapons are green. Yep, they're more green. So they're like nice and, ni ni nice and inconsistent. <laughs> yes. Uh, let's see. Okay. Yeah, it's a, it's a, it's a... I, like, <clears throat> this armor, like the, the Morrowind armor is probably one of the most impractical things. Because it is so many spikes. It's just like shards of glass sticking out everywhere. It's like like you literally wore an armor and then just like put glue on your armor and then just start rolling around in glass. Voila, you got yourself glass armor. <laughs> yeah, and as I said, like uh, again, uh, high elves often stylize their uh, glass equipment with image uh, of avian imagery. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Can't see it's that in Oblivion. A... Can't see that in yeah, Oblivion. Yeah, I can one, see but... that. Yeah, but it 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 says it says it in a book. Ah, okay, which yeah. Is... No, like you can't like see. The, may, I I guess the Morrowind it's like fair like. Yeah, like if you look at the helm, it's like you can sort of see the avian patterns somewhat. Uh, in Skyrim, you can yeah. definitely see it. Uh, it's like yeah, it's still there. Yeah. But yeah, then, yeah. but but then, like the Oblivion one looks more amphibian than anything. Yeah, I I all the Oblivion armors look wonky as fuck. So. <laughs> Very true. Well, I do like the Imperial armor. It's pretty neat. Um, let's move on to the next, which is, yes, now we're going to look at armors that are made out of bones of some kind. <laughs> bones. So this is actually all made by Dunmer. Uh, on the okay bottom right and the top, uh, and basically the two on the left, that is chitin armor made from uh, the exoskeleton of certain... Uh, Creatures that I don't know the name of anymore. Hold on. <laughs> Kauru, ka, ka, I mean Kaurus or no, 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 not nothing like that. Uh, because I know in Skyrim you have mud crab hitting, uh, uh, or cheating, or whatever. Ash hoppers. Ash hoppers. What? Ash hoppers. Yeah. Ash Which hoppers. are a type of insectoid, oh. and that's also. Yeah, it, it looks as the name suggests. It's a grasshopper, but it's fire fiery. Yeah, it's it's oversized as well. Um, yeah. And so chitin is actually something that exists in real life as well. It's the exoskeleton, uh, specific part of the exoskeleton of yeah. uh, uh, insects. Uh, oh, not, yeah, yeah not I insect. Mean, uh, no, not what's specific. it called? Uh, 
the uh, crabs and uh, cancers and yeah, exactly. langustas. So uh, yeah, this those. this armor is made of that stuff. It's like extra hardened, boiled even some of it um, to make it harder. Uh, which is, I mean, that would uh, make sense uh, in this fantasy setting to have armor like that. Uh, I mean, like, if you have creatures that are that big, that have so, uh, such big exoskeletons, then why not make an armor out of it? Especially when it's mm -hmm. so easily available. It's more uh, available than, uh, you know, metals. So. Yeah, absolutely. It's already shaped. Like, the only yeah, exactly. thing you actually need to do is, like, find the piece that... That like yeah, exactly. fits on whichever part of your body. Exactly. And then we have bone mold, which I actually should check up more on because I don't know much about bone mold. I'm not even sure what it's made out of. It, it yeah, it, it's actually a secret, and he like tells you in Skyrim, mm -hmm. bone mold is not available for you like for a craft from the beginning. You actually need to finish a quest for the local blacksmith in Raven. He uh, unlocks the recipe for ah. you, uh, okay. but I, it, it's just bones. Yeah, no, like uh, the, the the two books uh, called Bone, which are available in both Morrowind and Skyrim, uh, uh, actually explains the invention of bone mold. And... Yeah, it's it's like uh, it's it's made just from iron ingots, natch leather, and bone meal. Actual bone meal, yeah. <laughs> yeah, like the the one, the, it's the, the thing when you kill a skeleton and you loot bone meal from them. It, yes. That thing. Yes. So, uh, yeah. So it's you're literally wearing a person's <laughs> a person's bones. Yeah. So the, and the center as, one as and the, the top name right. Suggest, yeah. Like mold, bone mold. It's actually molded. So it, yeah, you yeah. make the you mix the bone meal with a, a kind of a resin. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and that's probably the resin is probably why it's yellow as well. Because I mean, bone, bone meal... is yellow. No, it's white. <laughs> yeah, but uh, have you seen the skeletons in Skyrim? Ah, yeah, you mean like that? Well, uh, I don't. That still wouldn't Age make bone is yellow. That wouldn't still that still wouldn't make it this yellow. So I think I, the resin I, uh... helps. <laughs> well, but where do you get the resin? Yeah, good question. They never specify that. <laughs> yeah. So the uh, iron ingot, anyway, I guess I, that that's for the reinforcement. But yeah. the funny thing is, like, if you look at the shield yeah, of the bone mold armor, it looks like a horseshoe crab. Yeah, it looks like an actual, uh, you know, creature at least uh, was part yeah, of this horseshoe shaping. crab. Yeah. It's the yeah, it's one of the oldest creatures still still looking uh, still living creatures ah, on those our planet. Yes. Horseshoe crab, yeah. Along with sharks and alligators. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, so yeah, these are all made of creatures. So that's a perfect segue to the next one, which is the bone, this dragon bone and dragon skill armor. Which, to be honest, doesn't feel too lore friendly. It's just like a gimmick that you get. But at the same time, it just doesn't feel wrong either. Like, <laughs> but um, yeah, I don't think. The thing is, bone armor has existed in real life, but it's usually used like on top of ceremonially. Um, yeah, ceremonially, and then like there's a few places where they use it on top of other, uh, like on top of wood or something, as an extra reinforcement. Mm -hmm. So something else breaks first, you know. But uh... I mean, the thing is that bone, especially like when it when you take it from certain creatures and from certain parts, bones are hard as fuck. Yeah. <laughs> and it's far easier to make it. Like you can actually drill through a bone and like stitch it together, and you make some kind of armor. The, the question is like, is it better than a, a steel or? Yeah, like... no, exactly. So but this is the this is really a fancy thing because. Uh, yeah, we don't know how hard dragon bone would be, which begs the question: How the hell did they form it into all of this? <laughs> but <laughs> oh well. Oh yeah, like the thing, like dragons are supposed to be magical, and if you look, look at the shield of the heavy heavy armor. Look how thick that is. Yeah, that's gonna be very thick. That's gonna be very heavy as well. <laughs> Uh, these yeah, two... it is. Like oh. a piece of the dragon bones and dragon scales weighs like fifteen pounds and yeah. well, uh, twenty-five pounds. Yeah, <clears throat> exactly. So 
of these two, I would say the dragon's skill armor is more realistic if it weren't for those fucking teeth on the shoulder for no good reason. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, there's a, there's a, uh, are those teeth or are those, those little spinal, spinal spikes? Yeah, who knows? It's impractical, it looks, that's what it is. It looks cool, though. Heck, yeah, the rule of cool, you know? <laughs> yeah. It's, it looks cool, it's fine. Also, I love how you, like, this is stated to be, like, fully, like, made, made, made mostly out of dragon plate and dragon bone. But then if you look at the helmet of the dragon plate, the, the right one, <laughs> yeah, that's all metal. why is it metal? <laughs> why is it metal? They, yeah. they could have made a fucking dragon from the skull. Yeah, well, it's a bit big. the skull is a bit big. The... That's the problem. That's the problem. I know it's big, but... Uh, Give me a small draw. dragon. <laughs> yeah, exactly. You know, something. Yeah, oh well. So, these are the final creatures. And then, oh right, here. Technically, more creatures. <laughs> <laughs> so, this is... Okay, so... The top... Okay, we had uh, leather armor before, but the top right is Nordic fur armor, and on the left you see Skyrim fur armor, in the center we have Starlet fur armor, uh, which was a thing historically, actually. Uh, yep. Something that because mostly... Fur is different from leather. Yes. Uh, the thing with fur is that if you put on enough layers of fur, you basically have an improvised gambeson, and gambesons were used a lot in history because of how effective they were. So, yeah. uh, bl technically speaking, uh, blunt <laughs> attacks should be less effective against this armor. Of course, they don't do that like that, but technically. So, yeah. <laughs> it actually makes... Uh, this is realistic, except for the, the Morrowind armor. It's just like, they made it out of fur, uh, but then they like shaped it as if it's not made out of something that's like hanging on you. <laughs> it's, it's like oh it's hard now for some reason like why <laughs> oh really yeah it's it's it, why does he have shorts yeah no okay he's nordic so <laughs> that's why i think and then i love the oblivion one where it's just patched together like you know, like we couldn't find any elks so we just fought so, we got some rabbits <laughs> yeah uh, them uh, together. look at the sheep <laughs> Look at the shield, you can see the grey strips going from the side. Like, why? <laughs> because they ran out of fur, really. And then you have it in a Skyrim where it's like, Look at all this fur I have. Like, I killed like five different creatures for this. <laughs> it's, it, it's like a rabbit here, a fox there, a whole ass, uh, a whole ass boar around the waist. It's like... And he, he just... He looks warm. Layers and layers it. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> it looks very rough. It's not. It doesn't look like a normal armor. It looks like he. It looks like something a hunter. It's a makeshift. It's a yeah, makeshift he, armor. It looks like he stood there naked, and somebody was like uh, sewing them onto him one by one. <laughs> yeah, maybe. Ah, it still works, I think. Anyway, beautiful elk. <laughs> Moving on. <laughs> so, if you go to uh, Soul's time, they have. Uh, well, the Nordic armors that we sh just showed, but also they have a spe specific uh, method of uh, making armor, um, which is uh, Nordic mail, Nordic chain, and um, uh, Nordic carved armor, which you see on the right. Um, and it has like it has a very different uh, style to it that compared to what you would find in Skyrim. That's you have the bear nice. bear patterns more. There's technically also a wolf uh, pattern as well. It did include, but yeah, looks yeah, pretty you cool. You can see the eagles on the on the, uh, the shoulder guards. Oh, is that eagles? I don't know. I think it looks their like maybe dragons. I think it's their attempt at a bear. Uh, <laughs> I know the hat is definitely a bear. It, it's an animal. <laughs> it's an animal, exactly. But this armor is very, uh, very cool. Looking. It's it's very realistic and uses gambeson, uh, nothing sticking out too much in the wrong way. Looks very sturdy and very very warm. It's perfect for yeah. It, it's time. it's the newest addition, like uh, yeah. time wise, like a real a real life time wise. Yeah, it's exactly. The newest addition to the uh, to the armors, so we can uh, assume that all the armors in the Elder Scrolls Six are gonna. Like, at least this good. Yes, I hope that they make them more realistic. And the only time they get can get away with, like, a skimpy armor is if it makes sense 
lore wise. <laughs> Wait, uh, skimpy armor? Well, I mean, have you seen the Forsworn armor? <laughs> oh, yeah, uh, uh, they're not using it as an armor, it's clothing for them. Yeah, it's more clothing, yeah. And even then, it's like, mm. <laughs> why in no, in Skyrim? That's the question. <laughs> Wearing something like that. I mean, they're, they're going around Markarth. That area isn't that cold. Yeah. Well, I mean, yeah. There's no okay. snow. We, we should actually. That brings up the discussion of how uh, they wanted to have a change of seasons. And I guess that the uh, area of Markarth was, is currently. Uh, is that summer? Either summer I or think fall. Actually, yeah, that's summer. Yeah, summer. So that makes sense that they would have them wear that kind of armor. Anyway, let's move on. Like late summer, like uh, ah, yes. called September. Yeah, yeah, something like that. Stalrim. Fuck yeah, the eternal ice. Mm -hmm. This is actually one of the more fantasy esque materials that we have. Uh, in the other schools. Mm -hmm. uh, it's uh yeah, it's a rare form of enchanted ice that you can only find on Solstheim. Solstheim. Uh, yes. Which is north north of um uh, Morrowind. Yes. And um uh, it was used to uh actually encase the deceased uh as a form of protection and it was only a privilege given to a few uh you know like few Nords were allowed to uh, be encased in that ice because it preserves the body more. Um, and the technique on how to make it has, of course, been lost to time. But uh, later on, when they found a way to mine it, well, they they uh, made grievous misuse of it uh, of its properties. Yeah, because uh, it, it as it is magical ice uh, in itself. It amplifies frost-based enchantments mm -hmm. uh, placed upon it, and uh, combined with uh, steel or can be made into uh, light, medium, or heavy armor. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. It's very malleable. You can make it into anything. And assuming you know uh, the techniques, yes. Yeah, and actually, there is a rare version of uh, this armor. Mm. What's it? Well, I, I forgot. How would you look that up, and I'll like tell you actually yeah. this, the actual story of how it uh, was developed. Because apparently, the ancient Nords in the first era uh, were at war with the uh, Chimer or Chimer, whatever you want to call them, um, and many Nords were killed during those battles, and the corpses of those who could not be returned to Skyrim were buried on Solstheim. But the problem was that uh, due to the gray, uh, the threat of grave robbers and necromancy, necromancers. The uh, Nords used their unknown magic to uh, on the tombs of their fallen warriors to give them protection in death. Um, and it was said that the energy uh, was drawn from the land itself. Uh, and, and because of that, the ice became magical. Really this. Did you find what you were looking for? No. <laughs> All right. So it's it's a rare version, and you you have to go around. Uh, uh, you have to go around. What's it called? Uh, the p -p 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 the island. So time you have to go around. So each of the armor pieces, and it's the strongest armor in all of the uh, all, in all of Skyrim. Yes. Uh, well, if you. Like if you enchant it properly, then it, it technically is the strongest. No, it's, it's pretty enchant. It, it's pre yeah, I and I know like if. It. I mean, I think it's. I don't know the weight. Uh, if it was actually. Let's see. More. Uh, I I think it was li It's lighter than dragon bone, but it is slightly lower in value. In the defense value, but. It's still it very, very good. Amusing. And actually, if you look at the appearance, it's actually pretty good looking. Uh, good looking, realistic, so yeah. Again, Dragonborn armor. It's uh, very good. <laughs> and on the bottom right, you can see uh, one of the tombs uh, where you can find Stalrim. It's very well hidden, so uh, good luck if you're trying to yep. uh, Is that the last one? No, well, right, the weapons. Mm. Uh, we've forgotten about the weapons. <laughs> so, um,. Yes, we've gone through all the armors. Now we're gonna look at the weapons. Uh, how much time do we have? Well, we have plenty of time. So, well, actually, no. We because we started later. We technically only have. 
we don't have too much time. So, uh, you want to go through this uh, quickly? Uh, I think we can. Okay. Like, uh, so first up, uh, Axis. Axis and Battle Axis. Technically, if you want to... Axis and Battle Axis, yes. War uh, Axis and that's... Battle Axis, if you want to be exact. Yeah, uh, Battle Axis is the short one. Uh, War X is the... The big one. Yes, War X is the yeah, long one. With, with two, two sides often. often. So, uh, just to keep... Uh, make sure that we don't have to repeat ourselves. The one with uh, the, the, the brownish background on the bottom... Uh, is uh, Morrowind the one with the yellowish background is uh, Oblivion, and then what the white or just a different background? It's uh, the uh, the Skyrim ones. Skyrim, yes. yes. Right. You can clearly see the difference, the uh, difference, especially with the glass uh, that's uh, in the center of each. Yeah, uh, uh, the Dwemer is like, also very the, different. The glass ones in, yeah, it's 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 really different in Oblivion, especially. It's like a piece of green, <laughs> and. Uh, <Big> <laughs> In Skyrim, it's just the blades. Yeah, no, like in Skyrim, uh, the uh, the glass uh, weapons are also like very avian in design. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Not and, so much. Oh my god, is the Daedric weaponry better looking in Skyrim than it was in Oblivion? Yeah, true, but uh, okay, yeah, that's, it's also better than uh, the ones in uh, Morrowind. But the thing with the, the there's a bit of an impracticality with the. Uh, uh, Skyrim one in that it's got all these rigid edges. So what would happen is that it would, you would sink it into your in your opponent's flesh and it would get stuck on the bones or whatnot. You wouldn't be able to get yeah, it out. Yeah, that's true. <laughs> all right, let's go to the next it's weapons. Uh, so we have maces. the maces, Blunt. the clubs, and the hammers. And they're yeah, <laughs> we yeah the the backgrounds are consistent. You can see them on the screen. It's actually a nice. Uh, the details, especially again on the Skyrim version, when you look at the dragon bone weaponry. Yeah, like oh, the thigh bone. <laughs> it's yeah, it's the thigh bone. It's like the the joint that goes in into your uh, what's it called? The the sitting the, the, it's, the it's, big it's sitting the, bone. Yeah, no, it's it's uh, your leg bone basically, the upper yeah, leg bone. It, yeah, it's 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 the thigh yeah the thigh, thigh. bone. Yeah. With the <laughs> giant ass uh with the, with the giant ass knuckle. <laughs> yeah, something like that. I will say though, the hammers and maces the, in Oblivion yeah. are actually pretty okay, uh, practically speaking at least. Yeah, they're very historical looking. Yeah, I mean they're a bit too like the hammers. Like historically, actually, they were the heads were actually very small. And you might think, oh, they're not very uh, heavy then. I'm like, oh yeah, they were heavy. <laughs> this is very condensed. <laughs> I mean, uh, but like in in games like at, this, just, yeah. look, just look at the Daedric. Daedric uh, maces weigh forty pounds in Oblivion. So, <laughs> yeah, exactly. That that head is way too big his, to make it historically accurate, but they still look good. Yeah, compared to Skyrim's with, there's so <laughs> many hooks. Yeah, it's like this is a hammer. Why are you taking away the one th good thing that a hammer is good at? Like the the dragon bone Bludgeoning. actually. All, all yeah. of them are basically multi-directional warpikes. Yeah, exactly. So it's not exactly practical. And then the, uh, the Morrowind ones the are also. Are like... <laughs> yeah, the Morrowind ones are just straight up. All of them are warpikes. <laughs> It's just points uh, and like the yeah, the clubs especially like all look at all these points. How is it a club? <laughs> yeah, there's nothing bludgeoning about that. It's just gonna pierce. Uh, more like, like a morning star. <laughs> when you go to the big ass hammers, the big ass. Uh, they are better looking, but oh my god, the heads are so big. That yeah. thing is gonna <laughs> weigh more than you. It's like this when you compare the size. It's like if you had an entire fucking anvil yeah. on the end of a stick. You're not yeah. gonna be swinging that around anytime yeah. soon. Yeah, we're we're not playing uh, Dark Souls uh, right now. <laughs> yeah, where you and do like, actually let, have let, a literal let, anvil. Lattice <laughs> hammer. Yeah, yeah, like, or that, or uh, in uh, Dark Souls Two, you literally have an anvil <laughs> as a <laughs> hammer. Uh, right. No, you mean the smelter, smelter? No, 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 no. no. I'm talking about the uh, Gurm uh, Warhammer. Oh, you mean the one that's just a huge ass uh, piece of melted iron? That uh, the heavy attack of it is when you spin and it like makes you fly. No, no, that's also the smelter hammer. <laughs> 
uh, uh, but uh, that's that's the that's the heaviest one in the entire yeah, game. Yeah, I know that's the heaviest one. But I was talking about the one where it's literally an anvil for a hammerhead. <laughs> I really, I really don't oh, yeah. remember that one. It's, it's it's not the most popular weapon anyway. Okay, let's move on to the next weapon. Yeah, the uh, just um, one uh, one more thing uh, oh, with the yeah. uh, hammers. These are would look like they weigh a shit ton. Imagine the Volendrung. Which is yeah. a legendary hammer, which is supposed to be uh, un unwieldable by a normal man. Yes, uh, same goes Just for it... Standard's hammer as well. Standard's hammer is also yeah. like that thing. Actually, in game, has a a crazy weight, like um, like like two hundred or something. Let me let me do check. Go check. Uh, Standard's Standard's. Hammer. What did you do? No, I don't want the fucking. I don't want the the creation kit version. Fuck off. <laughs> Stand Hammer. There we go. Uh, rumored to have once been wielded by Standar, God of Justice. Uh, it's it's very heavy. Yeah, let me go to the uh, tribunal page for it. It's it's one thousand. <laughs> oh Jesus! One thousand pounds, but it also nice. has the highest maximum base damage. <laughs> <laughs> That's a lot. So, yeah, it's 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 a very uh, strong. Okay, let's move on to the next one. The uh, yeah. staves, and the reason we put them in weapons is that actually in Morrowind, they were actually weapons, but that's why they look more like battle uh, weapons. But it was mm -hmm. in Oblivion and that they started becoming more like uh, spell containers, which you can use to spam spells without using mana. <laughs> mm -hmm. <clears throat> so yeah, um, so the 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 wooden stuff that you see there uh, among the Morrowind weapons is actually that is realistic. The rest, not so much. <laughs> Maybe like the third one. You know, like, eh, maybe, but, like, uh, like, what's with all those fucking spikes on the glass one? <laughs> the, uh, second to last, with the, like, the grey one, it's also, eh, it's pretty good. And then you have the, uh, the Skyrim ones, which are also questionable. <laughs> I, I, I mean, mean, like, as a, the as basic a... magic staffs, like, for each of the schools, are yeah, perfectly they're... normal looking. Yeah, they're, they're, they're okay looking. Uh, I mean, even the Falmer staff is uh, looking okay. The the Dragon Priest staff, yeah, yeah that's pretty cool. I guess. <laughs> but. Uh, but the only one that's like, oh my god, don't don't touch that, Forsworn, because Forsworn. it's <laughs> made from thorns. It's literally yeah. <laughs> thorny. Thorny everywhere. I do uh, from the staffs of Skyrim. I love the uh, Wabajack the most because that actually could yeah, be the used. Design, yeah, absolutely. The design of Wabajack is like. It's, it's, it's cool, but and it also looks like it would be an effective battle staff. Actually, like despite like you know the more nice uh, heads that you have going on there, it actually would uh, smack uh, like would have uh, quite a punch. It's pretty, pretty cool. I mean, look at stuff of Magnus. That shit is scary looking. Yeah, no, that thing is like yeah, that lo that looks powerful. So th I guess that's a good design. Then. <laughs> yeah. All right, moving on. So. Uh... Moving on to daggers. Yes, daggers. Uh, and daggers and short swords, actually. So at the top left, yep. you can see someone who has made real-life uh, versions of all these wonderful daggers in uh, Skyrim. Skyrim daggers, that is. Like, going from left, you can see uh, Elven, then we have Nordic, uh, Dwemer, uh, uh, Steel, I think. Yeah, Steel. Steel, um... Dragon That's Priest, the, uh, Dragon, Pri Dragon Priest, Ebony, Glass, Mehrun's Razor, the Daedric Artifact, Keening, the uh, Dwemer Artifact, oh, I moved something, uh, uh, then Dragonbone, uh, Iron... No, no, uh, no, the, the, after Dragonbone, that's a Stallrim, that's a Stallrim dagger. That's a Stallrim dagger? Yeah, they miscolored it a bit by the looks of it. Oh, oh, I see. And, and then we have, no, this one is Nordic. Yeah, so the, the, the second one was, uh, that's the Blade of Woe. No, Blade of Woe is... Uh... No, no, Blade of oh, Woe yeah, is purple, yeah, but yeah, they didn't right, make it right. purple. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Under, under the uh, Nordic is Orkish, 
and under that is I suppose that's uh, the Daedric, Daedric, but we don't see it. Yeah, considering it's pointing out and, and with all those points, it's definitely Daedric. <laughs> yeah, it's gonna be like five blades in one. <laughs> so that's... And then if you look at the uh, the, the dagger and the uh, short sword and the ebony ones in Oblivion, they have an interesting like pummel, which, well. Uh, it's a very, I think it's very interesting because that's first of all not historic at, at all, uh, but also um, it gives a whole different vibe to the uh, the the ebony weapons actually. And of course they weren't consistent with that at all because <laughs> it's only in that one. Actually, if I look at the ebony weapons, they were incredibly inconsistent because like in uh, Morrowind, it's just like. A uh, the same style like imperial style basically, uh, just made out of ebony. Then in Oblivion they have this unique style which almost looks like your uh, it can be plugged in into a device or something. And then in if you look at uh, uh, Skyrim it's suddenly very smooth, curvy. Like uh, once we get to the great swords you can even see, you can see it even better. But like it's like hmm, very different all of a sudden. Yep. Let's move on. Uh, there we have. Well, let's see. We have the uh, the, the long swords and the broad swords. Um, and some katanas. And kat yeah, now this is okay. So technically, this uh, the middle one is a tanto, and the top left is a uh, wakizashi. Yeah. Uh, because the katanas are after this, that's why I'm able to specify it like this. Yeah, katanas and uh, katlasis. Yes. But yeah, here we have the long swords and uh, the great swords, and uh, as you can see. Let's starting from tomorrow. Starting from tomorrow, uh, they are very straight looking, like uh, narrow, narrow edges, uh, so, yeah, yeah, so like... stream, streamlined blades. Apart from the glass and yeah. the Daedric, they're all very similar. And they're also realistic. The <laughs> they're all real. Yeah, the exactly. They're, are they're very realistic. And then you like, go maybe to... the Daedric with the two. Sharp bits sticking yeah. from the middle. Yeah, the is glass like also not. <laughs> yeah, d d not even speaking of the glass. Uh, but then, if you go to Oblivion, then suddenly uh, some are okay, like the first few ones. Like even the Dwemer one is okay, but then the Elven one is way too broad. Uh, like the blade. Yeah, is... the Elven one is like an overshoot episode. Like, I don't think you can even fit a hand gar yeah. into that handle. It's so short. And so it, this sword is not gonna be balanced at all. It's so top heavy. No, it's uh, yeah, uh, it's like more like the the middle is like way heavy. I don't know. Then the glass yeah, one, it, it, glass it, one is actually surprisingly okay. Like there's sharp yeah, points. The glass one, the glass one is absolutely okay. Ebony also. Yeah, it looks like you're gonna. It looks good, but it's and still like the the, the pummel is interesting. Daedric looks like a machete. Yeah, Jenny, yeah, it's okay. And then Skyrim, yeah. Skyrim, they fucking fucked up. Why is every blade in Skyrim so thick? Yeah, it's way too thick. That's why I love the uh, better shaped weapons mod, which makes them yeah. more sword-like. <laughs> they basically just uh, opened up photo Photoshop and the whole picture, the JPEG of the sword, they just narrowed it. Narrowed it, and but they made the grips uh, bigger. Because these, like look at the orcish one. That grip is made like it's a thin stick. <laughs> oh yeah, I see that now. Oh my god, <laughs> it look. <laughs> it's gonna break. Yeah, that's gonna break immediately. Like I always like the orcish uh, longs. Like the or orc weaponry in Skyrim has a very distinct style mm -hmm. that uh, really fits them. True, true. Like it's the a... jagged edges, mm -hmm. uh, lo long jagged edges, une uneven, uneven. Like nothing is straight. Mm -hmm. It's really nice. Uh, compared to the Dwemer uh, weaponry, which is like all like very geometrical. Here's the cool thing about the uh, the Dwemer weapons is that they are very uh, very closely related to Viking uh, styled weapons, uh, as in historically Viking weapons, as in that that age, like before the 10th century. So and it makes perfect sense considering that the Dwemer were around in the first age, but not after that. So their weapons never evolved. So it's actually pretty cool that you can still see that the old style uh, being used yeah. like that. Like, uh, and speak, it's like when, when we through, talk through the realism, like we can see the Elven, which is like, yeah, again, with the thickness, 
elves overshoot it. The glass is like gl very gladius looking. Uh, yeah, actually, it it uses the leaf uh, blade uh, shape of the blade in Skyrim anyway. Yeah. Uh, which is a realistic uh, shape that does happen. Yep. Uh, ebony, ebony looks like a wand, not like yeah. a sword. It it looks like a fucking flower or something. <laughs> it like it it, yeah. it evolves it, it, like it, a flower. It's like it it doesn't make yeah. sense. Like the ebony was not consistent at all. Like they just went completely different directions with each weapon. Yeah. Yeah. Really. In in uh, in it's, Oblivion, ebony yeah. weapons are really well. They're normal looking. They're very yeah. medieval looking. Yeah, and uh, they have uh, an interesting uh, design. Uh, like yeah, the pommel. Yeah. I, I, I'm just so fascinated by the pommel. <laughs> Let's move on. Yeah. The, and uh, uh, but oh my god, the Daedric sword. Oh yeah, no, don't even start on that. <laughs> What's with all the yeah. points? <laughs> There's so many. Po you can't even hold that without hurting. You. Yeah, no. It, it it seems like it would hurt yourself. All right. So here we have the katanas, the sabers, and the scimitar. Uh, actually, all of them are very realistic, except for the scimitar in Skyrim for some reason. <laughs> it's like way too clunky, or at least the 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 grip is. The blade, yes, that is actually an accurate blade. The 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 grip is just. Strange. It, it's gonna hurt you. The the the, yeah, the grip yeah. is gonna hurt you. It's especially it's the, cro like the sharp cross edge. Yeah, the cross guard is the strange thing. The the pommel it can happen, but the 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 the, the cross guard just doesn't make sense. Yep. Next and, up, yes. Well, great swords. Yes. And, yeah, the great sword uh, and the die katana. Die <laughs> Yes. The clay. Technically, in Oblivion, they're called claymores, but yeah. Uh, For some reason, yes. Let's see. Well, similar. Uh, things apply for most uh, things. Uh, for some reason, the Oblivion Elven Claymore looks very good, except for like the clunky uh, center, like on the cross guard. But other than that, you know. Again, no. Why is the Daedric greatsword in Oblivion <laughs> a flammer? Uh, <laughs> it's it's wiggly. Why yeah, yeah. why is it wiggly? Well, I mean, technically, you historically did have flammer. Uh, flammer. I know. Flammer. The same thing. But. Uh, yeah, why? <laughs> why the, the, also, why in, only the claymore? In Skyrim, in Skyrim, if you look at the ebony uh, greatsword, it looks yeah. like a katana, straight up. Yeah, it's a bit curvy, like that, yeah. It's, it's, yeah, it's, it, yeah. It, it looks like the lightsaber <laughs> Ashoka. <Ashokat. laughs> yeah. If you look at the Morrowind uh, claymores, though... Uh... They're very realistic, all of them. No, the... <laughs> the Dwemer one has double as a double cross guard. That doesn't make sense. Like it should be one of those two, not both of them. Oh yeah, like <clears throat> that, like the like like the the, the, the Daedric one can happen. Like the points like that. Maybe they're a bit too far, but uh, it can happen. But then the, the the Dwemer one is just double cross guard for some reason. <laughs> yeah. <clears throat> okay, let's go move on. Uh, uh, also, uh, in the Great Swords, we have the Blood Skull Bait on, yeah, the, on bottom the bottom left, left. which... Not entirely uh, practical, but it's magical. It's not supposed to uh, work in melee. Yeah, no, exactly. It's 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 a key, <laughs> mostly. Yeah. This is... Okay, so here's a little uh, pet peeve of mine. Uh, these are the halberds on the left and the spears on the right, uh, which existed in the earlier games, and then they removed it in Oblivion and never brought them back. But the thing is... Historically, that's not, a, that's not a halberd. That's a bardish. Yeah, no, that's a bardish. First of all, yeah. <laughs> well, the bo the bottom one is a halberd. Uh, the wooden one is a bardish. Uh, and then, then the glass a, one is also a halberd. It's more and... of a yeah. And then the top one is technically more of a oh god, what is that? Man catcher. Yeah, maybe yeah. Looks uh, like it. The thing is, okay, spears. <laughs> are historically the most used weapon it is yep. e most easily produced most easy to master and you know it's st extremely effective it's, why did they remove him from the game it's, it's the like best weapon sharpen in a piece of metal to a pointy point to a pointy point and put it on the end of the stick tada you have a weapon it's one of the oldest weapons and one of the most effective ones why yeah. did they? Why you, did they you, know, you know why they uh, removed them? Why? Because they didn't uh, want more animations. <laughs> no. Uh, what animations would you have for a spear apart apart from stabbing? 
You have followed my uh, you have a swipe? You can have a low swipe, high swipe. I can, dude. Not all spears have blades. No, that's true. So it's it's. Um... <clears throat> you would just the player character would just be doing forward track. It would be high or low, I guess. The thing is that they didn't have the mechanics like that, and they also have, didn't have mechanics of like different kinds of. Uh, you know, blunt slash pierce. Yes, in Skyrim are something we can just uh, swing from right to left. Yeah, exactly. So, and that's why when they introduced uh, with mods like spears, they they have to use the animation of um, you know the battle axe, which just doesn't work with a spear whatsoever. <laughs> oh well. Next, we have the bows, which. Uh, Actually, the uh, the uh, elf uh, the, the Morrowind ones are like technically short bow and long bow, which is realistic. And then they removed the separation for some reason. Also, the bows in Oblivion, pretty yeah, okay. No problem. They all look like bows. The, the... bows in Skyrim. Yeah. No. <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> the in Skyrim, in Skyrim, the only good looking bow. Okay, so like the long bow, like the first one, the, is okay. That's like a basic bow. A hunting and bow, a hunting bow, bow. Hu hunting bow, and a pure bow. Those are the good-looking bows, and after that, it's just shit. <laughs> orc bow, orc bow looks good too. Yeah, it's okay. Yeah, and then the Nordic but... Nordic bow is just like, a, like, yeah, it looks like a composite bow that can't be a composite bow yet. <laughs> yeah, and oh, God, God forbid you ever touch the elven bow. <laughs> oh yeah, definitely. Also, why, you know... why does it have spikes? Why does it have blades? What are you gonna do with that bow? <laughs> Punch someone. You do know, like, you know the bash, basically, that you uh, can do with a bow? If you're a third yeah, person? Yeah, um, <clears throat> If you take that bash into consideration, the Daedric and the Dragon bow, the dragon Bone bow actually makes sense. Because <laughs> the yeah, Dragon Ball has spikes on it. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck you, hell. The, the, the elven one is so horrible. Yeah, no, actually. Ebony is also like, why is it suddenly clunky? Yeah. Oh well. Uh, and then we have crossbows, which we don't have a lot of. <laughs> uh, yeah, it's crossbows. Uh, they should exist more because crossbows have been around for uh, quite long, actually. So actually, you here... know, no, it's the gla glassbow is the is the horror. But you know, uh, the uh, reason why crossbows aren't so prevalent in the Elder Scrolls games because they're too OP. <laughs> no, uh, because uh, the keeping it re like reloaded and uh, like placing it and then uh, tagging yeah. it, it it takes too long. It yeah, it, like yeah, that's true. They didn't want to uh, make players do. Long. It's more powerful, but like. It's actually yeah, like, but the it thing could... is, in real life, that was the that was the discussion for like that was always the option you had to choose. You either go for the bow, which is more shots per second, or you go for the crossbow, which is less energy draining to you know aim and whatnot, uh, yes. and more powerful. Uh, but the also, reload think... took forever. <laughs> yeah. Also, I think that the reason why we don't see crossbow because they take away from the uh, low fantasy. That yeah, Skyrim true. has not the realistic. Like, oh, <laughs> the realistic yeah, it it's it it uh, a little bit too much resembles a modern way, modern yeah. day gun. Yeah, maybe. It's that... it's I know it's technically not futuristic. Like uh, it's not modern. Crossbows were there for. Yeah, they existed but, uh, for like. A I long know, time. but like, imagine if the guards. Use crossbows. <laughs> I mean, the the, the like, downguard does. <laughs> that's the yeah, I know downguard, but they're, they're supposed to be like mercen high high team. Yeah, they specific uh, specifically like, oh, they're so I effective. I don't really think that if, if yeah, I don't think crossbows being widely available in the, uh, would God. improve it. It yeah, it, it yeah, for enough. me it's like. If there are crossbows, uh, I, I I am just waiting to see a fucking steam engine and then it <laughs> goes to shit. Yes, okay. Well, technically there are steam engines in this game, though. <laughs> yeah, but... <laughs> Fuck off. <laughs> uh, uh, and the final one, <clears throat> which is actually only Morrowind. Oh, no, wait. Uh, Daggerfall also had them. Uh, throwing knives, darts, and throwing stars. Which, obviously... Uh, 
is very much the Eastern influence again. Um, yeah, I mean the daggers look okay. So like the 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 iron and the the glass one actually looks okay, a bit hard to hold, but okay. As a dagger, not a throwing dagger. As throwing daggers, all of these daggers are shit. <laughs> Like if you've ever held, like uh, ever looked like actual throwing daggers and like thrown, they're just actual... a piece of metal that's like yeah, balanced sharp. Yeah, somewhat. exactly. And you have two yeah. sides that are sharp, and you know they're that's light it. to like... throw. And what is this? These are these are just daggers, not throwing daggers. <laughs> yeah, this is this is this is just a dagger, and only one. I guess the darts are okay looking, like except for the Daedric but... one. What the fuck is that shit? Except for the Daedric one and the top. Top, uh, not the right, rightmost yeah, one. Yeah, the rightmost one is also like, uh, what's that? That's not gonna bury. That's just gonna pierce the f two centimeters yeah. <laughs> and like, then, why? The throwing stars. I don't know too much about throwing stars, but the thing is, these are all flat. That's the main problem. Like the bottom right would be perfect. It was if it was three dimensional and you use it as a, uh, I think it's actually called a cantrip, not from D and D. A cantrip is actually something that you throw on the ground and you step on it. It's also a cantrip. Uh, you mean caltrop? A caltrop. Ah, sorry, my bad. Uh, that would look like a caltrop, not as a throwing star. Throwing stars in general are uh, historically uh, not uh, used to the... kill, they're used to distract. <laughs> uh, and also, uh, like, you know the whole shuriken yeah, thing shuriken. with the ninja stars. Uh, they didn't actually use them to throw, it was a palm dagger. It was like a dagger that you can hide in a palm. And they yeah, used exactly. it more like a boxer. Yeah, exactly. So, and in like some if, it, if they had to throw it, it's not like you're not gonna kill. No, no, stuff. it's it's just like oh fuck, a sharp object is coming towards me. Now I can can't continue going in that direction. Though I will say yep. that the middle top one, what the fuck is that? Yeah, that's the ebony, right? Yeah. It uh, looks. How, how how much trust do you have in like the strength of ebony for that to not <laughs> break? <laughs> Like the top uh, left the one is only, better. <laughs> the thing is, uh, four-pointed uh, shurikens are bullshit because it would hurt you. Yeah, no. So exactly. the only ones that were used were three points. Yes, exactly. So, so the, the glass one is actually the most realistic one. <laughs> yeah, the glass and the iron is the most... Uh... Yeah, the top left. The top left is the elven one, I think. All right. Elven? Oh. Yeah, I think that's the, yeah, that's the end of our uh, presentation. Uh, Yay! It's also we're also over time by a long shot. <laughs> really? Yeah, we're supposed to finish at half. It is currently a fifty. <laughs> ah, fuck! We're starting in ten minutes. Yeah. <laughs> okay, so uh, thank you all for watching. Uh, sorry that we uh, weren't fully able to finish properly, but uh, yeah, the stream also apparently I uh, lost connection twenty six times. So look forward to the recording Jesus. instead. <laughs> So, uh, until then, uh, yeah, just like, uh, I'll see you on Monday, and the next Daedric podcast is going to be next Saturday again. So, we'll see you then, eh? Yeah, we'll do. Uh, yes. What uh, is going to be our topic? Um, um, well, I was thinking about something with Draugr, or uh, inaccuracies, uh, uh, historical inaccuracies, or like inconsistencies in the timeline. Uh, but, but yes. Uh, in the, mm -hmm. the uh, and uh, well, we can see if we can do that or we're gonna do something else. But uh, yeah. So uh, until then, uh, bye bye.